I've worked for many years in the Middle East, in Iraq, in Syria, and in Turkey. The funding, the, the international funding for projects such as this one is really quite necessary because the local communities just don't have um, the, the ability to cover all of these projects themselves. There's a great deal of heritage to be preserved also because of the decades of continuous warfare and conflict. Uh, so there is uh, so much to do here. And without assistance from the international community, we're going to lose a great deal of cultural heritage, which is not only important for Kurdistan or for Iraq as a whole, but for the world at large. So it's uh, of the utmost importance that we have support for projects such as this one from the international community. So this is our office and uh, what we're seeing here is a photograph from 1944 of the uh, Mosul Gate, the, the Ahmadiyya, otherwise known as the Ahmadiyya Gate or the Badinan Gate. Those are the other names by which it's known. And this is a photograph from 1944, but I actually first came here 10 years ago. Um, to work on a project called Mapping Mesopotamian Monuments. But as I started this documentation project, this was one of the places we visited for documentation, and I absolutely fell in love with it. So the gate that you see on the site now is actually restored, it was in this condition, and it was restored in 1981 by the Directorate of Antiquities and Heritage. It was a quick restoration and they made some mistakes and that's simply because they didn't have the archival documents that we have now. Because they didn't have the guide, some of the pieces ended up in the wrong location. So these now need to be taken down and replaced in the correct place for the gate. So this is what we're doing. We're going to begin to take down the upper part of the gate this part, we'll take down these pieces and we will lay them down on the ground and if we will work like with a jigsaw puzzle and we will put the pieces back where they belong and in the places where there are missing pieces, we work with a local sculptor to create um, pieces that will fit in. The pieces must not look exactly like the old ones because in uh, our field, um, we say that for scientific purposes, it's important to differentiate between the restoration and the ancient building. We're in a combination of trying to remove the graffiti and conserve the stone. Um, and it's not an easy project, so I personally don't have a problem with graffiti if it's in your own bedroom or on your house, but quite frankly, on a monument in Iraq, it really is destructive. We're standing now on a stairway that dates to the Parthian period, so significantly older than the gate that we have in front of our eyes right now. We think people have been walking on this stairway and coming up here on top of the citadel of Ahmadi for at least 2,000 years. And, you know, they came up this, this very same set of stairs that's used every day by people here in Ahmadi uh, to go from their house to access their gardens and their orchards here down below. This has been a good path for people for so many generations that it's hard to count. Um, part of our project, as we work to fix the gate, we wanna make sure these stairs are something that continue to serve the public. For us, control is of the essence. As we do this radical thing, moving you know, and dismantling this gate stone by stone in order to conserve each piece, honestly, we, we have very little margin for error in work like this uh, because the gate has lasted this far and we'd like it to last for many generations to come.